Hey, I'm Dre, and this is Dre Trading. Uh, pretty good day across the board for, you know, all things involved. Uh, Dow, NASDAQ, my own personal goofy stocks. Because um, sometimes it's like my own, go my own goofy things, you know, kind of go down even when basically everything else in the world is going up. Um, I'm going to assume that they had unique uh, reasons to go up. Uh, I mean, not reasons, plural for all my... I'm basically just talking about my pot stocks. Uh, a lot of the other kind of loser things like in the market, you know, kind of, you know, I guess, really were uh, kicking off well today. I, th I think uh, cruise lines and things like that and uh, airlines, uh, you know, really kicking butt, I, I believe. Like, I don't know if they had a sp uh, spike down near the end of the day or maybe they're spiking down after hours or maybe that's not going to happen for a couple of days and then, you know, anyone that's getting into them now can look foolish. But, you know, it's a lot of investors or, you know, you know, managers or stuff like that are figuring, you know, there's money to be made in these low stocks. And, you know, I've been doing, you know, thinking about it. And, you know, I have this money on the side not doing anything. And I am I was kind of like looking at, you know, the things going up, you know, 20% in cruise stocks and stuff like that. And they're still like, you know, 40% down on the year. So it's just like, yeah, I could put some of that money into those and basically make around 50%, you know, if they get back to where they were and then sell. Because, you know, I, I wasn't in them before, but do I believe that they'll get back to where they were? I think at some point. Um, I kind of feel later more than sooner but, you know, in that sooner, you know, maybe I'll ride it up to 20%. Maybe I'll ride it up to 30 Or who knows? Maybe it'll be like, you know, a lot of the other things. And it's just going to get back to where it was almost immediately. The reason I was bringing up my, me thinking about doing that, you know, but I'm still skeptical because, like I said, if in a couple of days they tank, I'll be the loser that's buying now. Um, and I was kind of thinking I should just put some of that money into mutual funds. It's sitting there not doing anything and mutual funds are run by people that know what they're doing. And, you know, they're paid to make me money. And if they don't, they won't do well at their job. And, you know, I would hope that they would be fired. <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to think that maybe I'll try to get in on this like goofy trend of things going up. Um, by getting putting money into the mutual funds instead of me trying to play a whack-a-mole game where it's just like oh on this day it's carnival on this day it's american airlines oh on this day it's boeing it's just like you know let someone that has their entire day to look at this and their entire lifetime of work to know when things are going to go up let them do it and i can just sit back so it's kind of in a way kind of ha trying to have my cake and eat it too be, I mean, if I picked a smart one, you know, I would be getting all the percentage up. But if I don't, then, you know, I'll, I'll get all the percentage down. So, you know, having a mutual fund person do that is kind of, I think, a smart thing to do. Especially at this time when there are, when there's money to be made. I, there's money to be, maybe during like a regular normal time, you know, Mutual funds are kind of just like, you know, just normally good. But right now when there's money to be made, I want people that know how to make that money to be the one, you know, doing the stuff with my stocks. And that's kind of like, I think right now there's money to be made. I'm not making any with this stuff on the side. I'll put it in the hands of people that know what they're doing. So that's kind of my thoughts on uh, that and that money that I have on the side. I won't put all of it in uh i'll still have some on the side just in case one of the things that i you know have that i really like, like things that i really like like apple or something like that like drops like a rock so i have you know you know some money on the side to kind of throw it in there but but that's my thinking on that um but you know my own personal things were kind of uh, goofy today i'll just you know get into the, the percentages and stuff like that my top one you know we're kind of back to a couple of weeks ago um pot stocks green organic uh, that made 25% today. Um, we have, you know, not a pot stock, but I don't know if, I don't think it's related to it unless people are getting the munchies or something. Uh, Beyond Meat, that was up uh, 2167. Aurora Cannabis up 1291. Tilray up 1013. 
Um, canopy growth up 8.66. I was almost kind of thinking like, oh, 8.6. That's great too. Um, Tesla up 7.26. Uh, Twitter up 5.08. Take two up 4.57. Then we hit uh, mutual funds, and then we have um, Apple up 0.59. The only loser on the day for my TOD is uh, AstraZeneca, which was down 2.36. Um, yep, that one hasn't been making me any money. I'm down uh, almost 5% uh, total on that one. Ah, I, I don't know. It was a kind of a coronavirus buy, but you know, if everything else is doing awesome, and I didn't put a lot of money into it. But uh, I think the pot stocks, I took a quick look at um, one of the, probably the, the best one, uh, why it was up. And I think, again, it was just like, oh, they reported something better than what was expected. And it may have been like the jobs report or whatever that thing was on Friday, where it's just like they expected losing jobs. And instead, they gained a few. And it's just like gaining a few compared to, you know, losing a lot. It's just like, oh, that's a big swing. So I don't know if like a pot stock was just like, yeah, we made a buck. And it's just like, really? We thought you were going to lose a thousand bucks. It's just like, no, nope, we gained one. And it's just like, oh, you guys must, you know, know what you're doing. But just like the other time, I don't know if it's the same, um, the same one. I have to, uh, to kind of take a, a look at that. But, um, but yeah, just because one kind of reported that I think it lifted basically everything along with it um, but yeah so those are making you know kind of crazy percentages uh, up uh, today along with you know kind of cruise stocks I was I was seeing that like American Airlines I think Carnival Cruise they were going up like 20% and stuff like that so I'm happy kind of in some ways that it's just like yeah, I'm getting my own 20 percenters you know kind of going up you know I didn't you know completely miss out on things but, you know, I could, you know, but again, that money on the side, that money on the side could be in things. So as far as like how I think things are be going, how things are going to be going in the future, it seems, it, it seems like everyone's in agreement that things are opening back up. And I think people are kind of in an agreement that we're not going to be shutting back down. I, especially like certain states and, you know, certain people and this, that, and the other thing, I can't imagine some states saying, let's do the lockdown again. Now, I'm not saying whether it was right or wrong or, you know, with the benefit of blah, blah, blah and all that stuff. I'm just saying, you know, politically or just economically or what have you, I think it's going to take something ridiculously bad for all the states to kind of like kind of do the same things that they did uh, already. I think we will not be doing the exact same type of lockdown in all the places like we did before. Whether they should, whether they shouldn't, I am not answering that. I just think there will be places that will not do it. And I think, you know, businesses and investors are kind of realizing that there's places that will not do it. And I think that, you know, like people have been kind of saying online and stuff like that, that the Fed will kind of do come hell or high water to make sure that the markets do not tank. Um, and, you know, I don't know all the tools in their disposal, but like the, the Fed and people in charge and stuff like that have really kind of like said, it's just like, don't, do not worry. You will not lose your life savings and stuff like that. And when you have that type of reinsurance, people just buy. Now, I don't know if that's kind of like, you know, uh, an impossible thing to like guarantee or say. And that's why I said, like, I don't know what's all like in the Fed's like toolbox. It's like if people feel like they're in, like basically insured from the market going down and then like it does, then like who knows, the market could completely tank if like people all of a sudden lose faith in the, the this insurance that the Fed is giving that it's just like, don't worry, we're not going to be going down again. We're not going to be going crazy down again. We will stop that. And it's just like if that's like found out to not be a thing that they can do. Like, I don't know. Then, you know, the market could completely tank. Um, but but right now, people feel like they have the insurance. People feel that, you know, things are going to get better. Like, economic-wise, business-wise, things are opening up. Like I said, I thought China stuff was going to be a bigger talking point. Who knows? Maybe during um, 
the election that will become more of a talking point if that becomes like uh, kind of a, a polarizing us and them type thing. It's like if Biden's on this side, Trump's on this side. And it's just like if all of a sudden like heated rhetoric with uh, China, because I think even on the day that like things were going crazy good that uh, Friday, you know, Trump said something that's just like, yeah, we signed that that deal and, you know, that deal is signed and inked and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I can, I can say that I'm honestly seeing it differently than, you know, we saw today. And that didn't really make a dent in, you know, that day's rally up. But that statement makes me kind of think it's just like, yee. I mean, I'm no super person with China, like whatever. It's just a completely barricade, you know, trade with China or something like that. Whatever is whatever. But I just know us and China trade stuff equals the market going down. So, and uncertainty makes the market go down. And him saying, it's just like, I'm looking at it differently. It's just like, what the heck does that mean? I'm uncertain about that. So you'd think that would, you know, make the market go bad. And if there comes a time, you know, two months from now, where basically all the talking points that are going on right now are kind of gone. And it's just like politics and Trump starts talking like that, where it's just like, yeah, you know, we really aren't happy with the situation and blah, 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 China. You know, the market could tank. Um, but I don't know. Uh, maybe that won't be a huge talking point. Maybe people will just ignore that talking point. Um, and, you know, things will continue to go up. I'm happy with things going up. That's what I'm kind of rooting for. Um, and today was a good day for that. But um, today was today, and we'll see what tomorrow brings. All right.